clock ain't working in that damn thing right now. You can't get it to work. You got it to work one time. Can't get it to work again. What is up, fam? Host message finds you all well and in great spirits. Well, today I wanted to talk about something that I wanted to share, and that was the one of the most simple but frustrating features of your 2000, I believe, 15, and I have an 18 model here, line lock. First thing I want to talk about is why it's important to use your line lock feature. Because first and foremost, when you use your line lock feature, you're going to shave, you're going to save your back rear brakes, the brake pads. The rotors will be happy for it. And also, you're not going to shock the car with uh, the wear and tear. What happens with line lock is it's a really cool feature. You, When you use it correctly, your front brakes engage, hold the car, and let the rear tires spin freely. <laughs> For about, I think, 13 or 14 seconds, somewhere in that time frame, that Ford has it set up in the track apps. Awesome stuff. Problem is, and this is just, it's finicky. If you don't do it right, if you don't hold the, the brake right, if you don't press the OK button right, the test can cancel. And if you're at a test in tune, what can get frustrating is, actually people are saying, come on, let's go. People behind you get nervous, and next thing you know, you don't do a proper burnout. Of course, a good old way is to hold the brake, hold the accelerator, that's fine. But for today's purpose, we're going to talk about the line lock. And I'm going to share with you all the horrible burnouts I've done at the drag strip. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I got to a point where I can actually do really healthy burnouts, get the tires nice and warm, just clean them off, and roll out of the burnout and get it ready for a great grab at the tree. So the question is, what did we do? How do we do it? It takes time, it takes patience, and it takes practice. I came to learn was, and thanks to a lot of people gave me tips like Captain America S550, a lot of people at the drag strip, what you're going to do is this. You're going to, when you do a proper burnout, uh, roll out of it's important, but the okay buttons are really important. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here, what I wanted to show you guys, of course, this car is completely set up for the drag strip, so if you see a bunch of lights come on, don't worry your pretty little head about it, but let's start this guy up. Okay. Uh, by the way, that's something new that just happened. My exhaust mode is not available with the headers. I gotta figure that out, so. But anyways, let's get to what you have to do. Of course, we won't make it live and active here, but what you have to do is simply, you put it in your track apps. So let's put it in drive. Let's hit line lock again. So remember, hold the OK button. Get it to warm up. The whole time my foot's on the brake. Now push the brake down as hard as you can. See how it goes? OK to begin. Now you have all this time. You can get your foot off the brake. And you can hit the accelerator. And the car will burn out. And if I hit cancel, it'll cancel and release. You see how the car moved up? Let's go over that one more time. So what I like to do is this is the drag strip. Let's, let's get it set up for how it, this is just in the driveway, so I don't want to hit these people's cars. Let's go, we're gonna do, put it in drive, let's put it in sport. I flick it over to uh, drag strip mode. I make sure I turn off traction control. So I have those features off. So I hit okay, let's go back, we're gonna hit our little horse here, track apps, line lock, hit OK. Again, hold down the OK button. So holding it down, 
We get that. Now you get this. Push the brake on as hard as you can. Push it down. Okay to begin. You'll feel the front. Now, let off the brake. At this time, you're going to be hitting the accelerator. Hitting the accelerator. You hit the accelerator and you're not going to redline it. Make sure you feather between six and 7,000 RPM. And we're ready to go. Hit OK again and the car releases and you get your rolling burnout. That is that easy. But what happens is, unfortunately, if you don't do it right, I'll show you how it, how it easily fails. Ready? Here's some easy fails. So if I press OK, repeat the track app. If I hit OK, right? I'm at the burnout box. I'm ready. If I don't hit the brake all the way down, all the way down, like you got to hit it all the way down, all the way down. all the, You got to really push the brake as far as you can. Guess what happens? It's going to take forever. You got to get that bar all the way up and... Okay, so I got okay. See, it didn't work. The reason it didn't work is because we took too long. You got to be snappy with it. Let me show you how quick that is. Let me show you how quick it's actually got to be. So, back in sport, line lock, hold okay. Get it there. Push it all the way down, okay to begin. That's it. You got to be quick on the draw. At this point, you're going to be doing your accelerator test. I'd be hitting the gas, and I'm not going to do it because I'm in my driveway right now. You hit the gas, feather, don't redline it, feather it, and then he'll hit okay. You get your rolling burnout. Okay, so you notice here we actually did a much shorter burnout. It depends on your tire. When you get to drag radios and drag packs, you don't need that heavy of a burnout. So some of the big, big burnouts you may have seen me do is because I'm either breaking in the tire or I just want to look cool. But basically, you only need about a four to six second burnout at the strip to get your optimum, uh, you know, cleaning off and get it ready to go. So that's the, that's, well, this is exactly what you saw here is my first successful burnout actually ever with the line lock. And I'm actually racing an F body uh, Camaro, which was a very good race. And we ended up, uh, I did a video on it. I'll put a card up right now. But we had a good time and I, you know, I did win, but it was just a good race. So enjoy this and I hope this helped. that we had it took me a long while to get it right I wanted to make sure I shared that with you guys and then once you're able to master it it just takes practice it took me a little bit got a little tips I hope this helps you guys if you have any questions comment below if you have problems with your uh, particular system but it's just awesome uh, a tool awesome thing I just know so many countless guys at drag should we talk about the fact that the the line lock either faults or fails just be patient. You got to be quick on the draw and you got to know you got to just take time, energy, and it takes patience. You have a good time. I hope this helped you. This is a quick video. I got a lot of requests for this video, so I want to put it out there. I hope you know it never ends. Peace.